struck, how many Me Too drugs can we have? How many anti-CD20s can we have? How many S1P receptor modulators can we have? Not very original, okay? We need new agents, new mechanisms of action agents, and maybe relapsing MS is plentiful at this time. We need better treatments for progressive MS, and we need CNS repair strategies. They're not bringing efficacy to the table. They're bringing convenience. Um, they're bringing perhaps a little bit of a switch in the adverse event profile and therefore how, how you might initiate the treatment. But when you're a Me Too drug, you're not going to bring too much new to the table. So we understand that progression is starting from the very earliest time point, very similar to Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. You really want to treat it before you have sufficient damage to, to have it clinically apparent. Ideally, we'd be treating the neurodegenerative phase of MS at the earlier time points before the patient is slowly worsening, if, if at all possible. And what they've learned is that the damage mechanisms appear to be somewhat different for the neurodegenerative component of MS. So there's a lot of microglia activation. Um, you really have damage to the mitochondria. So uh, you have oxygen-free radical uh, type of damage. You have iron deposition. There's a, there's a very strong link to age, which I think is most explainable by the fact that we're losing neurons from the very beginning, but you have to pass a critical threshold before you see the clinical impact of that. And this is really uh, problems within the central nervous system. We can clearly have an impact with some of our DMTs that act systemically. But you would think that we're likely going to need some penetrating treatments to really fully and most effectively treat the neurodegenerative phase. So timing of treatment is likely important. We may need to use uh, mechanisms of action that are more than just one. We may need a penetrating agent. All of these issues are on the table for optimizing treatment for progressive MS.